Hi again folks, uh, back with another look at some of the new features of the Radio Code 101. Now it's had a, quite a few uh, firmware and software updates recently. Uh, the app keeps getting developed quite a fair bit on the Android phones. The iOS one should be out soon and I'm really looking forward to reviewing that. We're going to look at two items. Um, first one is a USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, now, so this is just literally just a charger. I picked it up in Ikea. I think it was like, you know, three or four quid. Um, what it allows is you can charge the radio code directly from your phone. So it'll use the phone's battery to charge the radio code, which is a really, really nice idea. So if you're out and about and you don't have a charger with you and the phone's really, really well charged and your radio code's running low, you can actually charge it. Really, really good idea. Um, another thing that you can do is you can now do firmware updates directly from your phone. So if you plug in the cable, um, you don't need to connect this to a laptop or a desktop PC anymore. You can do the firmware updates directly from this. Now um, you can see it's completely matched. Um, you can actually turn everything on again with the way you always did. Uh, this works via Bluetooth. This was a recent software up update on the phone in the software. And uh, you actually have the display now. So if you have this up via Bluetooth and you have this, you know, not too far away, but enough that the connection is still made, um, you can see the screen on the phone, which is very, very smart. Um, to be able to see that and you can but you can actually control it as you can see there I'm able to control all the uh, the functions and you can see the screen moving at the same time as I do that so I'll go back just into normal monitor mode press the button so you can do everything that you can do which that's it's so clever the way they've done that okay I was nearly ending this video and a new firmware actually came out so I'm going to show you how to update uh, using the USB-C to USB-C OTG cable. So as you can see now, I've got this connected via Bluetooth. Now I've already updated the firmware um, or the, the software on the phone. So currently then we have a conflict between there's newer firmware on this than there is on this. So if I press OK here, now if I connect the radio code with the cable there, so we're currently connected via USB. So if I go into the settings, go into devices and go connect via USB. Feel to connect to device. Let me try that one more time. Yeah, there we go. So the second time I did it, it worked. So replace the device firmware as in this with from 1.17 to 1.18 and I just hit yes. We can see the radio code part off. And there we go. There's it installing. So before you had to do this on the laptop or desktop PC, and uh, now you can do it directly from your device. There we go. Excellent. There we go, there is it updated from software version 1.17 to 1.18. Absolutely quick and painless. Brilliant, that was actually really, that worked out really, really well. I was quite surprised. I'd, I'd finished making the video and I was just about to upload it and uh, somebody said, yeah, new software, right? So really, really good. Right, back to the rest of the video. Uh, nice little feature, really like that. Um, yeah, so being able to do the software updates um, directly from your phone very very clever very very small outlay for the cable i think that anybody that has the radio code and has an android phone get one of these i'm sure at some point they hopefully when the ios app comes out they will allow a similar thing that you plug in um the lightning cable into the phone and then a usb c cable into the radio code hopefully apple will allow them to do that i know they're quite strict with uh, their software and their hardware so hopefully they'll allow them to do that next thing i want to show you is this this is a carry case for the radio code and you can see the strap on it and that's so that it can go on your arm or uh, if you want to look like you've got a, a monitor on your your ankle <laughs> for, from the uh, the authorities then you can put that on as well and you can stick your trouser leg over the top of it. That's so that if you're out and about and you're out for a jog maybe, instead of putting it in your pocket if you're wearing shorts, you can uh, clip that onto your arm or onto your uh, your ankle. Very nice little device. I'll show you, I'll put it in actually, I'll disconnect that. And uh, I'll put that in. Put it 
put them that way so that the display can be seen. Little Velcro strap. And there you go. And you can still have access to all the buttons. There's got plastic weatherproofing over the top of it so if it rains, the unit should be reasonably waterproof in there. Um, I got that recently. Um, it only landed there about three or four days ago from Russia. Um, and we all know what's going on in the world at the moment, so uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hopefully if anybody has ordered one, you get yours. We will wait and see what happens. But uh, yeah, this wasn't expensive. I think it was like £18 or something, or $18. So all in, it wasn't that expensive. And uh, yeah, I'll put that to use um, when I'm out and about. Um, next time I go up to Belfast, there's quite a lot of granite up there. So uh, it'd be interesting to see if any of that is radioactive. Really, really handy little device, and as in the radio code. And that's just made it a little bit more user-friendly now having this. And I love the software updates. The recent software updates have been fantastic. Being able to have all of this um, sort of as one ecosystem now is um, is really, really good. The, the more I use it, the more I really, really love it. And um, having the Spectrum in there, very, very, very good. And especially in a device this size is excellent. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to show you today. There's plenty more software updates to come. I'm not going to do big, long videos for something as small as a software update. But uh, yeah. Listen, folks, as always, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.